Hello, and a very warm welcome to LNT Royal YouTube channel. Meghan Markle's emotional address to Fuller High School. George Floyd's life mattered. Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex, has given a commencement speech at her former school in Los Angeles. Immaculate Heart High School, graduating class of 2020. For the past couple weeks, I've been planning on saying a few words to you for your graduation. And as we've all seen over the last week, what is happening in our country and in our state and in our hometown of LA has been absolutely devastating. Um, and I wasn't sure what I could say to you. I wanted to say the right thing and I was really nervous that I, I wouldn't or that it would get picked apart and I realized the only wrong thing to say is to say nothing because George Floyd's life mattered and Breonna Taylor's life mattered and Philando Castile's life mattered and Tamir Rice's life mattered. And so did so many other people whose names we know and whose names we do not know. Stefan Clark, his life mattered. And I was thinking about this moment when I was a sophomore in high school. I was 15 and um, as you know, sophomore year is the year that we do volunteer work, which is a prerequisite for graduating. And I remember my teacher at the time, one of my teachers, Miss Polia, said to me before I was leaving for a day of volunteering, always remember to put others' needs above your own fears. And that has stuck with me through my entire life and I've thought about it more in the last week than ever before. So the first thing I wanna to say to you is that I'm sorry. I am so sorry that you have to grow up in a world where this is still present. I was 11 or 12 years old when I was just about to start Immaculate Heart Middle School in the fall, and um, it was the LA riots, which was also triggered by a senseless act of racism. And I remember the curfew, and I remember rushing back home, and on that drive home, seeing ash fall from the sky, and smelling the smoke, and seeing the smoke billow out of buildings, and seeing people run out of buildings carrying bags and looting, and I remember seeing men in the back of a van just holding guns and rifles, and I remember pulling up to the house and seeing the tree that had always been there completely charred. And those memories don't go away. And I can't imagine that at 17 or 18 years old, which is how old you are now, that you would have to have a different version of that same type of experience. That's something that you should have an understanding of, but an understanding, an understanding of as a history lesson, not as your reality. So I am sorry that in a way we have not gotten the world to the place that you deserve it to be. The other thing though that I do remember about that time was how people came together. And we are seeing that right now. We are seeing that from the sheriff in Michigan or the police chief in Virginia. We are seeing people stand in solidarity. We are seeing communities come together and to uplift and you are going to be part of this movement. I know that this is not the graduation that you envisioned, and this is not the celebration that you imagined, but I also know that there's a way for us to reframe this for you and to not see this as the end of something, but instead to see this as the beginning of you harnessing all of the work, all the values, all the skills that you have, that you have, embodied over the last four years and now you channel that now all of that work gets activated now you get to be part of rebuilding and i know sometimes people say how many times do we need to rebuild well you know what we are going to rebuild and rebuild and rebuild until it is rebuilt because when the foundation is broken so are we 
You are going to lead with love. You are going to lead with compassion. You are going to use your voice. You are going to use your voice in a stronger way than you've ever been able to because most of you are 18 or you're going to turn 18, so you're going to vote. You are going to have empathy for those who don't see the world through the same lens that you do because with as diverse and vibrant and open-minded as I know the teachings at Immaculate Heart are, I know you know that Black Lives Matter. So I am already excited for what you are going to do in the world. You are equipped, you are ready, we need you, and you are prepared. I am so proud to call each of you a fellow alumni, and I am so eager to see what you're going to do. Please know that I am cheering you on all along the way. I am exceptionally proud of you, and I am wishing you a huge congratulations on today the start of all the impact you're going to make in the world as the leaders that we all so deeply crave. Congratulations, ladies, and thank you in advance. Meghan Markle has spoken out about George Floyd, telling students of her former high school in Los Angeles, I'm so sorry that you have to grow up in a world where this is still present. She made a surprise commencement speech to the graduating class of Immaculate Heart High School at the virtual ceremony late Wednesday evening. Filmed on her phone and appearing close to tears, Megan talked about the difficulties of finding the words to sum up her feelings. Megan said, What is happening in our country and in our state, and in our hometown of Los Angeles, has been absolutely devastating. I wasn't sure what I could say to you. I wanted to say the right thing, and I was really nervous that I wouldn't, or that it would get picked apart. And I realized the only wrong thing to say is to say nothing, because George Floyd's life mattered and Breonna Taylor's life mattered and Philando Castile's life mattered and Tamir Rice's life mattered. And so did so many other people whose names we know and whose names we do not know. Megan has spoken in the past about how the private, Catholic Immaculate Heart High School was where she found her confidence and learned to lead. Those close to her tell LMD Royal Channel that her hot pets were the young people who are graduating into a world of injustice and that she hopes that her words provided a small bit of hope, comfort, or inspiration to the school community as they head out into the world. You're going to use your voice in a stronger way than you've ever been able to, because most of you are 18, or you're going to turn 18 soon, so you're going to vote, she told the students on Wednesday evening. You're going to have empathy for those who don't see the world through the same lens that you do. In a six-minute address, she recalls how, when she was volunteering in sophomore year at the all female school, one of her former teachers, Emma Spolstadt Polia, said to her, Always remember to put others' needs above your own fears, Markle said. That has stuck with me throughout my entire life, and I have thought about it more in the last week than ever before, Megan, who moved back to Los Angeles with husband Prince Harry and son Archie in March, recalls when she was 11 or 12 years old and her hometown was hit by riots which was also triggered by a senseless act of racism. I remember the curfew and I remember rushing back home and on that drive home, seeing ash fall from the sky and smelling the smoke and seeing the smoke billow out of buildings and seeing people run out of buildings carrying bags and looting. I remember seeing men in the back of a van just holding guns and rifles. I remember pulling up the house and seeing the tree that had always been there, completely charred. And those memories don't go away. I'm sorry that in a way we have not gotten to the place where you deserve it to be. Another analysis. Meghan Markle's secret diary could be worth millions. Meghan Markle gave up a lot of things when she married Prince Harry and became a member of the royal family. The former suit star ended her career in Hollywood, closed her blog, The Tig, and left her old life behind. Although Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, was forced to give up many things, she did not stop writing in a secret journal something that could reportedly fetch millions now that she is no longer a royal. Meghan Markle kept a secret diary. Meghan and Harry tied to the knot in a gorgeous ceremony inside St. George's Chapel in the spring of 2018. They seemed to have a promising future ahead of them, but Meghan had a very difficult time adjusting to the royal spotlight. Harry released statements criticizing the British press for how they covered Meghan on several occasions. And last year, the couple sued British tabloids for publishing letters Meghan wrote to her father in confidence. 
Last fall, Megan admitted that she struggled to adjust to her new life, despite her background in Hollywood. The two ultimately decided to leave the royal family at the beginning of the year, and have since started new lives in Los Angeles. While most of Megan's struggles happened behind the scenes, inside sources claim that the former actress kept a secret journal over the past two years. Along with documenting all of the issues she faced, Megan logged her diary entries during some of the royal family's biggest scandals. This includes the epic feud between William and Harry. Will the Duchess of Sussex ever publish her journal? Considering the content of Meghan's journal, sources believe that it could be worth a pretty penny. According to Marie Claire, sources say that Meghan's secret memoir is valued at least $150 million to the right publisher. Although Meghan and Harry could make an enormous amount of money, the source says that Meghan has no desire to publish her tell-all, at least not at the moment. A source shared. The fact they may exist and could contain material to embarrass the royal family is enough to make anyone feel uncomfortable, even though right now there is no reason to believe she has plans to publish. The insider noted that Meghan has plenty of writing experience under her belt, and her personal journal is something that likely worries top members of the royal family. The royals have gone through enough scandals in recent months, and the last thing they need is a shocking tell-all. Meghan and Harry, of course, have not commented on the reports surrounding her private journal. The two recently moved to Los Angeles where they are looking to start their new lives outside of the royal spotlight. A royal expert believes Meghan Markle was not ready for the spotlight. Now that Harry and Meghan are out of the royal family, they no longer have to worry about the intense pressure of living under the spotlight. But royal expert Diane Mahoney recently argued that Meghan was not ready to handle her newfound fame after she married Harry in 2018. According to Marie Claire, Mahoney said that many thought Meghan would do just fine in the royal spotlight because of her acting experience. But what people failed to realize is that Meghan's work as a B-list actress did not adequately prepare her what was ahead. Mahoney shared. Whereas actually, I think what she encountered was almost impossible to prepare for and certainly her experience as a B-list actress wasn't going to stand her in good stead for suddenly becoming the most famous woman in the world. She became a global celebrity on a stage just incomparable to anything Hollywood was going to offer or the Hollywood stage that she experienced before. Megan was hardly the first person to struggle with the public lifestyle and compared her experience to what Kate Middleton faced when she dated Prince William in the 2000s. The royal expert argued that Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, has gone through her own issues with the media and that many forget how she once had an unfavorable spotlight. Fortunately, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have escaped the pressures of being in the royal family. The couple's exit became official at the end of March, and they have reportedly been staying at Tyler Perry's swanky mansion in Los Angeles until they find a home of their own. Please support Growing LMT Royal Channel by subscribe channel, like and share videos are. Your support is the motivation for our to produce better videos. Don't stop. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more LMT Royal videos about your favorite royals are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.